I'm going to show you how to make these gyroscopic fidget rings. This is a series of concentric rings that will freely rotate inside of one another in all directions independent of the motions of the other ones. And it's a really neat fidget device. In this project, I have laid out all of the different steps involved to create this final result here. And so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go through and create a bunch of different spheres that we will then combine together to create this shape. And so I've laid out all the different diameters here of the different spheres. So first you're going to create a 10 millimeter sphere and that's 10 millimeters in all directions so that it's a perfect sphere in all three axes. And then what we're going to do is create five different whole sphere pairs. And so um, the first pair is going to be an 11 millimeter hole with a 14 millimeter sphere. And then we'll have a 15 millimeter hole and an 18 millimeter sphere. Then the next series of three is going to be 19 millimeters hole and a 22 millimeter sphere, then a 23 millimeter hole and a 26 millimeter sphere, and then a 27 millimeter hole and a 30 millimeter sphere. And then what we'll do is we'll go through this series of different alignings and groupings to create this final shape. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of show these last few steps. So I will just copy all of these spheres here since creating them is, is pretty straightforward. So I'm going to copy these and paste them here onto this new build plate and shift them over so that we can see them all. All right. So what we're going to do is align and group the individual pairs here. And so this one doesn't have a pair because this is the solid sphere at the center. These all have pairs because we need to uh, cut away part of it so that it is not a fully enclosed shape. So I'm going to select these two and select align. And now what I want to do is I want to align it on all three of the different axes. And you can tell when it's aligned on all three when all of them are grayed out like that. And then I'm going to align the next ones here. And after we've aligned it, what we're going to want to do is we want to group it. And you can see here when I group it, it goes from shapes to to just shape because it's now one complete shape where there is a hollowed out sphere because we've combined the whole and the outer sphere. And so if I go back here and highlight this, you can see that it's not been combined yet. I forgot to group these first ones. So I wanna make sure that I group all of the pairs individually or else the end result won't work properly. So we're gonna go through these next ones and we wanna make sure that we align them on all three axes and then group them all together. So we'll go through this exact same process for the last couple here and group and then align and group. Awesome. And so now what we need to do is we're going to group all of these together here. And you can tell that I grouped them all properly because it says I have six shapes. If I hadn't grouped any of these together, it would be some number more than six. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to align them again on all three axes so that they're all grayed out properly. And then we're going to group it. And so it's going to group all of those shapes together. And now I'm going to zoom in and I'm just going to make a cut with this box through part of this so we can kind of get a sense of what's going on inside of here with all of these hollowed out spheres that we've created. So I'm going to drag my mouse across here and group them just temporarily so we can peek inside here. And so you can see it's starting to make these little concentric spheres inside of there. But what we want are concentric rings, not spheres. So I'm going to undo that here. And what we're going to need to do is cut off essentially the bottom part and the top part here. So I'm going to drag in a box hole. And the outer, uh, the diameter of the outermost sphere here is 30 millimeters. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a box that is 30 by 30. But what we want to do is we want to make the height 10. And the reason for that is that we want our rings to be 10 millimeters high. So we're essentially going to cut off the bottom 10 and the top 10. So I'm going to select both of these here and I'm going to align them. So I'll align this way 
and I'll align this way. But I don't want to align vertically because remember, I want to cut off the bottom part here. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this box again. And I'm going to select the box. I'm going to hold down shift and select the sphere. And now I want to align those. So I'm going to align it and I'm going to click the sphere to align it on that and center it that way. And then I don't want to center it. What I want to do is I want to set it up at the top. And now we have the sphere nicely divided up in thirds where we're going to cut off the top third and the bottom third. And we have our middle third here to make our gyro ring. So I'm going to select it all and do our final group here. And here we are, we have our end result. And so to drop it down on the work plane, you can just select it and type D on the keyboard and it'll snap it down to the work plane. And here we have our gyroscopic fidget rings, which are ready to print.